this video we're going to be looking at trigonometry and working out missing angles of right angle triangles. Um, before watching this video I'd recommend watching two of our videos, trigonometry introduction and trigonometry missing sides. When you watch those two you'll be ready for this video. Now I just want to have a look at the sine, the cos and the tan functions a little bit more with you. So the sine of 30, if you wanted to work out the sine of 30 from before you remember you'll press sine 30 close brackets and you get 0.5. So that's 0.5, okay? But sometimes you're given, uh, you might have something like this. The sine of a certain angle is 0.5, and you've got to work out what the angle would be. Now, luckily, you don't need to do it using trial and improvement. You can just do the inverse operation, okay? So the inverse operation of the sine of an angle would be the sine to the minus 1, the inverse sine. You'll see it above the sine button on the calculator. The inverse operation for cos is cos to the minus 1, and the inverse operation of tan is the inverse tan, okay? So if, for instance, you know that the sine of an angle is 0 0.5, to work out what the angle would be, you would do sine, inverse sine, of 0 0.5, and then it would give you the angle. So for instance, if you press shift in the sign button, and then we type in 0.5 and press equals, you get 30 degrees. So that's telling telling you that if you were to do the sign of 30 degrees, you would get 0.5. Let's try another one. If you know that the tan of a certain angle equals one, to work out what the angle would be, you would press shift tan. Let's write it down, tan inverse tan of 1 equals, so the inverse tan of 1 equals 45 degrees. Make sure you put in your degree sign. Okay, so that just is showing you what the inverse sine cos and tan is. Okay, let's have a look at some questions now. Okay, for these questions it's exactly the same method as what you've done for the missing sides. So step one, label the sides. The side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. The one opposite the angle is the opposite. And the, le the other one, the left out one, is adjacent. Step two, cross off any side that hasn't been given or asked for. Now, because it's an angle you've been asked for this time, you'll have two sides that are given to you. So you'll have one side that isn't. So here, the hypotenuse isn't given to you. So you go to your triangles, your two old angels, two old angels skipped over heaven, carrying a harp. Remember, if you want more information on this, watch the other videos. Okay, and we don't want a triangle with a H in it. So we cross off this triangle and we cross off this triangle. So we're going to be using two old angels. So just get that triangle, write it down. So we've got two old angels. So we want to find out what the angle is. So we want to actually find out what the tan of the angle is. So you cover up tan and that tells you the tan vita. Remember, it was always tan vita. Tan vita equals opposite divided by adjacent. So opposite divided by adjacent. So to work out the tan of the angle, we're going to do the opposite. So the opposite, so tan equals opposite, which equals 50, divided by 60. When you do 50 divided by 60 on your calculator, you're going to get 50 divided by 60. You get 0 0.83 recurring. So that's equal to 0 0.8 and the 3 recurs. So to find out what Vita is, okay, so Vita, it equals tan to the minus 1 of 0 0.83 recurring. And whenever you do it on your calculator, so you're just going to do on your calculator, keep the answer in like that, just press shift tan, and then press the answer button. And then whenever you do that, you get it's equal to 39.8 degrees. Okay? So just to run through the steps again, label the sides, cross off the one you haven't been given, draw the triangle, cover up, the because it's the angle you're trying to find, cover up the tan or the sine or the cos, and just write down tan vita equals opposite divided by adjacent, put in the numbers and divide, and then once you know what the tan of the angle is, the inverse tan or the shift tan, shift tan, inverse tan, and then you find out what the angle is. Let's have a look at another example. Okay, so here's another right angle triangle. Uh, let's label the sides. That's the hypotenuse. Uh, this side here would be the, the opposite, because it's opposite the angle. And the other one is the adjacent. Step two, cross off the side you haven't been given. So we haven't been given the opposite. Step three, draw out your triangles. You draw your triangles and cross off the one that has the opposite, uh, the, the ones that have the opposite, because we don't want the opposite, we want the adjacent and the hypotenuse. So cross off that one and cross off that one. 
and then we've got the triangle with the adjacent and the hypotenuse. Okay, so let's look at this one here. So draw out this triangle. So we're trying to find the angle. So again, cover up either the sine, the cos, or the tan. So we're going to co uh, cover up the cosine, the cos, and that's adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So write that down. So. So cos vita equals adjacent divided by hypotenuse. And let's substitute in the numbers. So the adjacent equals 52 and the hypotenuse equals 100. So we do that division and we'd get 0.52, just divided by 100. Okay, so we want to find out what vita is. So vita equals the inverse cos of 0.52. So you just add in your calculator. Shift cos 0.52 plus equals, and you get it 58.67 degrees. Okay, so just to recap the steps again label the sides, cross off the side you don't want, select that triangle, substitute in the numbers, and then work out do the shift cos. Okay, and our last example we've got a right angle triangle. Let's label the sides. So we've got the hypotenuse. We've got the opposite, and we have got the last left over side, which is the adjacent. This time the adjacent hasn't been given to you, or hasn't been asked for, so we've got the opposite and the hypotenuse. So cross off any triangle that's got an A. So we're going to be using skipped over heaven. Okay, so, again... Because we want to find out what the angle is, we're going to cover up either the sine or the cos of the tan. So cover up sine. So sine vita, remember always follow up the sine or the cos of the tan with vita, equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. Step 2, substitute in the numbers. Opposite is 14 divided by 20. Whenever you do it in your calculator, you'll get 0.7. Okay, now that's the sign. Uh, that's the sign of the angle. The sign of the angle is 0 0.7. We want to find out what the angle is, so we're going to do the inverse sign. So the inverse sign of 0 0.7 equals shift sign 0.7 equals 44.43 degrees.